Climate risk is having a profound impact on societies, economies, financial markets, and the allocation of capital. The market wants to understand the increasing risk of things like water scarcity, heat stress, and rising sea levels. They want to understand the impact of that, not just today, but over the long term. So financial markets are increasingly seeking to integrate climate data and analytics into a wide range of risk assessment to make better decisions around risk and return. Sustainability is vital to who we are and what we do here at Moody's. We understand that we play a very important role in global financial markets. As issues like climate change are reshaping our world, we have an opportunity to lead by example and provide the tools the market needs to make more informed decisions. Our analysis on the integration of ESG in general and climate change in particular uh, in credit is not new. We published the first environmental heat map in 2015. We then published the first green bond assessment, for instance, in 2016. And since then, we've uh, issued a wealth of research analysis to uh, provide to financial market participants a better understanding of, for instance, of carbon transition in different sectors or climate change for sovereigns or at a more specific level, uh, rising sea levels for different countries. When doing so, we aim to really provide a, a forward-looking view as possible, uh, as well as a clear and transparent assessment of the credit impact of climate change. The field of climate change and data analytic has changed dramatically in the past couple of years. We've gone from a world where this was a small conversation amongst a few experts and activists to a world where every bank and every investor's board is having conversations about climate change. We're seeing the boards from banks and investors around the world. We're seeing central banks and supervisory agencies become experts in climate science because they need to understand how financial markets and how their own organizations are going to be affected by climate. Moody's comprehensive climate solution suite offers advanced risk measurement and evaluation tools to understand, quantify, and manage climate risk for physical and transition risk and to inform due diligence and risk disclosures in line with the TCFD recommendations. Our customers are affected by climate change in two different ways. On the one hand, the physical impacts of climate change can affect their real estate portfolios, mortgage portfolios, the corporations that they invest in or lend money to, which might have exposure to floods and storms, sea level rise, wildfire, and our analytics helps them understand where that exposure is. On the other hand, banks, investors may have exposure to the energy sector, oil and gas, transportation, manufacturing, which rely on energy, generate a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. And as we move towards a world with no carbon emissions, with no fossil fuel, the question is what will become of these companies? Finally, there is a lot of regulatory pressure on banks and investors to demonstrate that they understand those risks and that they are managing those risks adequately. We have ambitious plans for our climate solution suite and that includes expanding coverage across asset classes and regions. Our modeling teams are working to enhance and deepen our risk models and improve our ability to capture the risk as well as the resilience of a counterparty. Biodiversity is another really important area. It includes things like deforestation and animal extinction. Moody's understands that climate change is an urgent issue for our business and the planet. Although we are not major greenhouse gas emitters, we are standard setters in the capital markets. And as such, we know that our actions can serve as a role model for responsible corporate climate practices. So, we seek to be a leader when it comes to climate action, adopting ambitious sustainability practices, not only within our organization, but across our value chain. Last year, we accelerated our corporate commitments in a number of ways. First, by setting science-based targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions to achieve net zero emissions. Second, offsetting our emissions retroactively from the year 2000, the year that Moody's went public to achieve carbon neutrality. And last, procuring renewable electricity. 
Data shows that companies with better sustainability performance typically record stronger financial performance and beat their benchmark. Ultimately, by integrating responsible practices and actions into your business strategy, you will find success through sustainability. The, the conversation today is starting to change. There is a melding of wanting to understand both sustainability and financial performance. Those things are coming together. I, I'm optimistic that Moody's can play a very important role in helping the world address climate change. We're providing the data and the analytics and the software and the, the expertise and insights because ultimately we want to be a catalyst for better lives, better business, and better solutions.